Okay, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a short little video here about the Chinese guitars. Well, not the same as the previous video, but the Squires. Yeah, um, I would like to tell you this that uh, my lamp is fucking in my eyes, okay? So. There we go. Um, squires. I've been working on a lot of squires. I had several squires myself over the years. I have a few of them now. I think I have one, two, three, four. I think I have four maybe. Um, I've been working with uh, the classic Vibe. It's a great guitar. Doesn't really need any work on it. Uh, maybe perhaps change the pickup if you wish another tone or so. I've been working with the John Phi model, uh, the Telecaster, um, and um, what, what, well, I've been working on what, I think two John Phi models, uh, changing out the uh, the pickups to EMGs. It, it's a great guitar. I mean, the John Phi model is actually a very very good guitar. Uh, doesn't really need any kind of job at all. Uh, maybe changing the pickup if, if, pick if you like another tone. Uh, the frets are awesome, it was all good. Uh, I've been working on a, a couple of um, Jim Root Squire Telecasters. Yeah, also great great guitars, sounds awesome. Um, the stock pickups are awesome. Uh, what I did on those is that uh, one of them had a little little high fret so what I did is basically just working that fret down a little bit and did some recrowning on it and it was awesome. The owner of that guitar could easily uh, get a low string action and a great sound and the other uh, the other Jim Root Telecaster Squire was actually uh, changing the stock pickups to EMGs, so it's actually great guitars. When it comes to Squire Bullet Series, the cheapest one you can get, mm, uh, I don't, I don't really think that's a great guitar. Um, that's when the tuner starts to get crappy. That's when the the bridge starts to get crappy, the saddles, the pickups. I don't really think it's worth spending the money into a Squire Bullet. Uh, I'm talking about the cheapest Squire you can get. I think you can get it for like 99 bucks or you know something, 100 bucks, 120 bucks or so. I, no, don't get that guitar. Look into a more expensive like a Squire Affinity or Squire Standard Classic Vibe. Um, uh, as uh, ESP uh, LTD guitar lover said in, in a comment, uh, by the way, I love your videos, uh, great videos you have. Uh, he said that uh, his, he have a classic vibe and all that kind of stuff and I agree with him, that's, that's great stuff and he also have a, a John 5 Telecaster on incoming and that's a great buy. It's a great buy, that's a great guitar. Uh, doesn't really need any work on them, so uh, that's actually very good. Um, I actually have a, a, a Squire Jazz Bus as well, uh, it's a, a four string, uh, it's been, I had it for maybe three years now, it's working great, I haven't done anything to it, it's a standard series, kind of like more expensive, well it's still cheap but uh, expensive to be a uh, squire so to say. I don't know really I think I got it for like 300 bucks or so. Uh, so I really think uh, instead of um, looking on the Aliexpress or, or you know DH gate or whatever look into a squire or something like that. It's, it's actually great guitars. Um, I mean buying a Chinese knockoff guitar I don't think it's the right way well, of, of course you can do it, but um, I think you need to understand that 
worst thing that could happen is that you're getting a guitar in, that is in three pieces. It's broken, it's crap. I mean, and often you don't even get a refund. I mean, it's hard to deal with these people. It's, uh, I, I've been working on many, many, many of these guitars and the owner of the guitars have been, it's, it's not easy to work with the Chinese people. It, uh, trust me, it's not simple. So if you're not satisfied, I think you better, uh, you better know that most likely you will not get your money back. Um, if you are lucky, maybe you can get some some money off on your next order, or maybe uh, if you are very lucky, maybe they will send you a new guitar. That's but still you would need to pay for the shipping, and the shipping is at least hundred bucks. So. No, I, I. If you have the cash, sure, go ahead, but uh, it's not worth it. Um, so, and now I'm thinking about all the problems that uh, um, ESP Ltd guitar lover had with his uh, Les Paul. Um, I, I was kind of worried about when I saw his videos you know with the, the videos with the Chinese guy in with the, you know all this uh, you know this kind of stuff and I, I was kinda like uh, oh he's not going to get his guitar he's not going to get his guitar and I was very angry about that because um, he makes great videos and I would really like to see what's what's gonna be in the box when he got that guitar and <laughs> the video he made about the uh, guitar in like five pieces, I was like, oh no, <laughs> he got a broken guitar and he fucking screwed us all. I mean, he was just joking. It was a great guitar. Anyway, uh, enough about this. Squire is the right way to go if you want a cheap guitar. Uh, what I mean by saying cheap guitar and talking about like maximum 300 bucks or so 350 bucks maybe um, I think that's the right way to go and you know that that's I think uh, you you can't get any more guitar for that type of money unless you go in buy a second-hand uh, Fender Stratocaster or Telecaster for like four or five six hundred bucks or so so yeah stay away from the squire bullet series and aim for classic vibe uh, affinity series standard series um, yeah if you do that i think you're pretty much good to go so that's all what this video is about uh, i didn't really in my previous video i didn't really understand that um, Maybe you think that I said that Squire is a, a bad guitar. That's not true. I, I, I don't mean that. Squire is actually a great guitar. So I will try to get my hands on a Squire. Uh, perhaps a, a brand new um, Affinity or a Standard Series or maybe a Classic Vibe. I will do a complete unboxing. I will do a demonstration right out of the box so that maybe could happen in the future and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about uh, minor setup not much work at all to get a low string action and make the guitar play very well there could be maybe a fret or two that is a little bit too high but I mean it's nothing to really talk about it's simple work to do that so I will do that in the in the future. So yeah, now you know. Put your money into a Squire, and you are going to get a good guitar. And most likely, you would like to have 22 frets, and uh, that's when most affinities go away because they don't have 22 frets. Uh, that's when you need to look into the standard series. Most of the standards have 22 frets. Uh, the Bullet series is the cheapest one, it doesn't have 22 frets. The Affinity series, at least the new ones, doesn't have 22 frets. Only the Standard series, the some of the classic vibes, 
Um, the Yon 5 Telecaster Squire have 22 frets. The Jim Root Squ Squire Telecaster have 22 frets. Um, the um, uh, let's see what what else do we have here? There is a lot of more squires that have 22 frets. So that's something you need to look into when buying a squire if you would like to have 22 frets. So yeah, that's it for now. See you next time. Bye.